back to the new series of the admin certification series uh, i know I, when i was doing the app builder a lot of you have been asking like if i have any questions for the admin or the platform developer one platform developer one already have few questions but i'll add more questions to that but right now <clears throat> i'm starting with the admin certification series so let's go ahead and as usual, you know, as I say in every video, please do subscribe because I'll be posting more such videos like explaining the certification question which have appeared in the past and which will be helpful for you to prepare and appear for the exam and hope you don't have to lose the first attempt. But yeah, I hope you clear it in the first attempt. So let's get started with the first question. Okay. So which of the following statement are true about resetting the password? We have to select two answers and the first one is any user can reset their own password by navigating to their profile. Um, partially true, but not any user. So if I am logging in, then I can reset my password, not any user. So that's not true. B users account is automatically unlocked after the password is reset. That's true actually if your account is locked and if you reset the password your account will be automatically unlocked. So that is true one of the answer and C the user security token is reset after resetting the password. That's true if you reset a new password so you will have your security token will also be reset and you will have to use that in any of the integrations that you have used along with your new password so c b and c is the right answer and the last one d an administrator can only reset password five times in 24 hour period no there is no such limitation he can reset in a number of times so the right answer is b and c and to show why this is the right answer let me show you this documentation resetting the password for the user and here it clearly states that you know consideration for resetting the password so resetting a locked out user's password automatically unlocks the user's account so it's pretty clear and resetting the password also resets the user security token so it's already there in the documentation so you can refer this uh, salesforce documentation for this answer okay moving on next question if a user is working in salesforce when login hours end what will happen okay so if you go to the setup and check in the administrative login i mean uh, if somewhere you can set the login hours like start and end hours for that particular user of the profile so it's asking like if he is working and his login hours ended for particular user and what will happen so it says options are a warning message is displayed and the user is logged out immediately no that's not how it's going to work and the user can continue working but no users can log in no no users are not in question the question is whether he can continue to work or not so he cannot continue working if his login hours end so the user can continue viewing the page they are currently on but if they take further action or navigate to a new page they'll be logged out yes that's true so in whichever page you are in that will remain as is but if you try to move away and navigate to a different page there your session ends means your login hour, hour ends then you will be logged out so the correct answer is c and what d says is the user can continue to work with no impact no this is not true if your login hours ends you have to end your session so the correct answer is c and how it is let me show you the documentation okay so here it says uh, you can see this point if the users are logged in when their login hours end they can continue to view their current page but they can't take any further action it means if they take any further action like navigating or doing anything then their session will end so that's the right answer for this
next question is which of the following are correct regarding the fiscal year settings so i had to choose the three answers okay first one is once defined a custom fiscal year cannot be modified i don't think it's true and the second one custom fiscal year impacts forecast reports and quota yes if you change the fiscal year the uh, yearly forecast reports and the quotas either it's quarterly or you know monthly that gets impacted when the fiscal year start month is changed the quota adjustment information is purged yes if you change from when your fiscal year, year starts either from this month or that month and if you change that the quota and adjustment information is purged in terms of like forecasting data and once enabled the custom fiscal year can no longer be disabled yes that's true it can be modified but i don't think you can disable it if the fiscal year is set in accordance with the gregorian calendar it is recommended that your customer know this is also not true so the correct answer is b c and d and to show you what is that so i'm here at defining your fiscal year and if you scroll down to the considerations so it says here enabling or defining the custom fiscal year impacts your forecast reports and quotas which is one of our answer so it impacts forecast reports on quota okay and uh, the second point is when you define your first custom fiscal year all the existing forecast and history adjustment from this period for will be deleted so it's similar to the changing the month so it will be gone and one more point is when you define the new custom fiscal year any existing uh forecast to see quota the corresponding fiscal year lost so that's also one of them and uh, what is the other one here it is after you enable the custom fiscal year you can't disable the future okay that's exactly what is the correct answer d once enabled custom fiscal year can no longer be disabled okay next question is oops yeah the leadership of the large online apparel company wishes to enable the my domain feature in the salesforce what does the administrator need to consider before enabling the my domain feature we have to choose two answers users will not be able to log in from the login.salesforce.com now you can log in even though your domain is enabled unless you explicitly block logging in from this url and b my domain cannot be used in a sandbox uh, no you cannot use the same url because you know in sandbox it will be appended with your uh, sandbox or name okay and see visual force page urls will change yes of course it will change if you add a domain it will uh, you know the url of the visual force pages will change it will be served from the new domain and d after new domain has been deployed it cannot be reversed yes this is also true so a uh, correct answer is c and d so and to verify how i have come here for the you know the documentation of set up my domain and if you scroll down to um update your salesforce org with a new domain so here it's mentioned like when you deploy a my domain all your application urls including the visual force pages also changes so that answers this question also you know you cannot reverse whatever you have done it for the my domain setup okay moving on Salesforce administrator would like knowledge based content to be available in the company's public website how this can be achieved and there are two answers so the first one is build a custom solution to expose knowledge content to the public site yes it can also be done but I don't think any Salesforce involved in this so this may not be related to Salesforce and second one is enable share internal knowledge articles externally in profile settings so i don't think this is possible anything like that available in the profile uh, 
and third one is see create a help center community yes you can create help center community and provide access to the guest users and d enable salesforce knowledge or lightning knowledge i think this is the first step d is the first step and after that you can create help center community to make your company's knowledge base as the public website let's go to the document side so here it is set up lightning knowledge with guided flow and before that you know it's mentioned enable lightning knowledge this is for lightning but i think in the later version they made it lightning otherwise it's you know enabling the knowledge base and here if we go to the help center creating the help center um you can see that set up the help center to give guest user access to the knowledge article so the guest users need not be your org user or your contact it's whoever it's a public you know uh, portal or a website you can call where people come and access your knowledge base articles so that's what it meant so the correct answer is create a help center community and enable salesforce knowledge and moving on which of the following setting can be configured from the company setting section in the setup three answers company login hours business hours fiscal year settings company information and allowed ip range so i don't think allowed ip range you can do it from the company section that's something in the profile and company information yes you can and fiscal years yes you can do it there and setting the business hours for the company yes that can also be done but company login hours i'm not sure but yeah b c and d business hours fiscal year settings company information let's log in and check uh, how it looks okay i have logged into my dev org let me go to the setup and i will search here company so this is company profile there is a company section but i think they have updated to company profile now so here you can see the company information fiscal year and the business hours so you don't see anything related to ip so ip is not here and company login hours that is also not there okay so it's business hours fiscal year setting and company information these three so yeah the correct answer is b c and d okay moving on next question is a salesforce administration has 7 million records that needs to be loaded into salesforce and wants to do it in one batch how can the records be uploaded in one batch and one answer so data loader or third party data loading tool data import wizard or it's not possible to load 7 million records so the correct answer is third party data loading tool because there are limitations for the data loader and yeah, as well as data import wizard so i think data import wizard you can load only 50000 and then data load up to 5 million let me show you the documentation here if you see the data import wizard you can load up to 50000 records at a time not more than that and that it's available only for some of the standard objects okay and if you look at the data loader you can load data from 50 to 50,000 to 5 million records and data load is supported for loads up to 5 millions which is nothing but yeah like 5 lakh records and if you need more than 5 million we recommend that we you work with the salesforce partner or visit the app exchange for a suitable partner product so that means a third party data loading tool so the correct answer is b moving on to next question a user would like to change the language that user interface is displayed in how can the administrator accomplish this choose to answer and the first one is change the default language setting in the company profile no you cannot because it will change the language for the entire org. Advise the user to change the language setting in the user personal permission. Yes, this is true. And change the language setting for a user. At the user level, you can also do this language setting and change the local for the user. But this is optional. But correct answer is B and C. I'll show you now. Here you can see. Where did that go? Yeah. So this is at the user level you can see 
you can change the language to English or any other available language and you can see the change language you have all these languages available right now and you can go to personal information and there you can select language and time zone in classic and your avatar and settings language and time zone so that's how you can change your language so the correct answer for this is b and c and moving on to the next question united technologies is rolling out a large new initiative and the management needs to know how many users can be added to a group task in lightning experience and how many users should administrators state so here i think you if you are not aware the in lightning experience you can create a group task and assign it to each user each user will get a copy of that task and he can work on it independently so here it's asking the limit like how many number of how many users can be added to a group task so the correct answer is b 200 let me show you how and where if you come here consideration for using task the documentation you can see you can create up to 200 tasks for the 200 tasks each assigned to a user so this task will be uh, assigned as a copy to all the users and they can work independently so this is one of the good feature in lightning so the correct answer is b and moving on united technologies is rolling out a large new initiative and management needs to know how many users can be added to a group task in lightning experience how many users should that mean state or state so oh i think we covered this one i'm coming back to the same one i think the correct answer is 200 the next one is the sales manager informs the administrator that there is a need to be able to assign a task to a group of users which of the following statements true regarding the group task that administrator should tell sales manager okay so the correct answer is bc which means group tasks are enabled by default in lightning experience so yes you don't have to explicitly enable it and each member of the group is assigned a copy of the task so it's not the same task like crew assigned a copy of the each task so the correct answer is b and c and to validate let me take you here and this is the previous question and here you can see listed in Laro one or more groups get only one copy of the task and also you can see tasks are created only for the active members in the public group so then this is not true but for personal group and it's enabled by default you don't have to enable uh, the group task so the correct answer is b and c and moving on that's all in this session so thanks for watching till now and if you are not subscribed do subscribe and i'll be sharing other free aways as and when it's available to me like the certification questions which have recently appeared so do subscribe and send me a screenshot i will send that as and when you know i get the admin questions so do let me know in your comments what you feel and if you have any questions or clarifications on these questions i'll try to reply to as many as possible and that's all in this session see you in next video bye bye